Today we will read Luke chapter 16. Please open the book of Luke chapter 16. I will read in English. Sister Mensa will read in Siswati. Verse by verse. Luke 16, verse 1. Luke 16, verse 1. He also said to his disciple, There was a certain rich man who had a steward, and an accusation was brought to him that he, this man was wasting his goods. Jesus, what he get, Bafunzi Bake, was a quarter of a corner in water, there is a baby, the Sassin and Vuna. So he called him and said to him, What is this I hear about you? Give an account of your stewardship, for you cannot no longer be steward. Then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? For my master is taking my stewardship away from me. I cannot dig, I cannot, I am ashamed to beg. I have resolved what to do, that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his master's debtors to him and said to the first, how much do you owe my master? 
ngako waba bita bonge la beba kweleta la beba kweleta le sikebi ngamunye ngamunye gulona wakala wati uikweleta malini nko siyami and he said a hundred measures of oil so he said to him take your beer and sit down quickly and write fifty wampendula wati nasi sikwelete ngikweleta emabhodlela emafutha eliphehla la la 34000 lenvuna yamtshela yathi nali libhuku lakho lesikwelete hlala phasi ubhale ti 2000 then he said to another how much and how much do you owe so he said a hundred measures measures or quit and he said to him take your bill and write 80 Gulomunye wati, wenage ukweleta malini, wampemvula wati, nasi sikwelete, ngikwelete masaka embila lali kulu, lenvu na yati, nadi lipugule sikwelete sako, shala pasu pale ema eiti. So the master commanded the unjust steward because he had dealt shortly, for the son of this world are more short in their generation than the sons of light. Ingosi yaitu yaitu misale nfu na lenga gete mbegi ngegwenda le nfu lene bukili kangara ngobe bangfu balo mshaba bashagan pide stugula ninsabu kune bangfu bekanya. And I say to you, make friends for yourself by unrighteous mammon that when you fail that they may receive you into an everlasting home. Jesu waku bega wati ngini chela ngiti tende leni bangani ngemtrebo we mshaba he who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much, and he who is unjust in what is least is unjust also in much. Lowo lo etembegi le etimvende tingane. Uya uwe tembega na setimvende tingulu. Longa getembega tivende tingane. Ange getembega tivende tingulu. Therefore, if you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to you trust the true riches? Ngago, nani nga getembegi egu pate ni mtrebo walo mshaba, ni ngetembega ganjani e mtrebe ndo kungo sbili. And if you have not been faithful in what is another man's, who will give you what is your own? Nani nani nga gete mbegi emve ni alo mwenye umumfu Nguba ni lwa uni nika lo kungo kwenu No servants can serve two masters For either he will hate the other The one and love the other Or else he will be loyal to the one And despise the other You cannot serve God and Mammon Asiko sebendi ile singa sebende makosila mabili nga sikasi sinye. Sia una matela gulenye, setelele lenye. Ngako ge, ningege ni konde ngulungulune mtrebo. Yes, today we read the story of the steward. Namtlake sifunzile inzabayale si sebendi. Today I would like to preach about the life of faith. How we can live the actual life. Life of faith. Namla kwenye funa sifunza ngi kusisinga ipila kanga ni imbilo yekola. Although we receive salvation, there are still many brethren do not start the life, living the life of faith. No maga sisi siwe kutoa kona la solo banga kona ipila imbilo yekola. If we receive salvation, we are now made to live by faith. Means we are given all this sonship from God to live the life of Christ. If you became a son of God, then you became an also heir of the kingdom of heaven. If you become an heir of kingdom of heaven, means you own heaven. But for you to live the life of faith and use all the resources of heaven on the earth, you need to use the right key so that you can open the kingdom of heaven and use all the resources on the earth. 
Ufanele ka usebenzi se skia le kumsona sona se kufule zulu in uta utola logo lo kufanele kutu kusebenzi se lamtabeni. Although God has given all the power and position for us to be an heir of the kingdom of heaven, but people do not know and do not learn the life of faith. No matter how much you get, you're not man. You're not good. 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 You're not Then there is a proper life to live as as a righteous man to live by faith. Living by faith is not optional. If you are the true son and daughter of God, we all have to learn and live by faith. Imbiloga yekolo akusio imbilolo ngati mklambe umati ngumela yona kutuipile. Manga benje umuvlosi nziswa ufanele kutuipile imbilo yekolo. But although we receive salvation, there are many brethren who are not actually trying to live by faith. No maga sasi emuge le nsinzi, so upa bande yengba zola nila banga koni kupila imbilo yekolo. Can fish live on the earth? If fish inga kona ni kupila imklabatin. Can birds... Live only on the earth without flying. Tinyo ntinga kona ni kupila la pasem kila bati nga pandu kusiti ndise. Have you ever seen any birds that has a very strong and big legs? Kona ninyo ndogo wa ibona ine mile ndele mkulu. They don't need a strong leg. Ati tzingi mile ndele kutunil. It's because they have wings to fly. Ngo baba tine timbi kote kusiti ndise. So they don't need to run fast on the earth because they can fly. Sometimes, when African chicken come into our uh, our land, there are the dogs who chase after the African chicken. These African chicken has a big body but have a thin leg. So they just play around until dogs reach very close to them. Because anytime they can fly, then dogs will bark in the air without catching any chicken. So I've seen several times dogs only bark in the air without catching any flying birds. God made our Christian life like a bird of the air or the fish of the sea. So we we don't actually need to focus on the life on the earth. We don't need to possess many good condition on the earth because we have a wing. But very unfortunately, you don't know how to use your wing. It's not because you don't have the way you want to only focus on the life on the earth. Try to run fast on the earth. No matter how you run fast on the earth, you will be caught by the animals. Because your leg is very thin. Your field of living is not the earth. Your field of your life is not the earth. Which means you are not supposed to live according to the worldly way. 
You are not supposed to focus on the physical wealth of your life. You are not supposed to have more money so that you can live a better life in your future. God has given you the life of faith which you can fly like a bird in the sky. God gave you faith, the name of Jesus Christ, the power of faith. Through the key, you can open the store of heaven anytime and use all the resources of heaven. But very, very unfortunately, you don't use that wheel. That's why you have to struggle in the life of your or a life of the earth. You have to work hard, save money and also sparing to give to the Lord and struggle in all your daily life end up living very troublesome life. Although you own, you have nothing on your hands. Although you say, you cannot use what you say. This is the life of the people who do not live by faith. God has given us this wing to fly. God has given us unlimited resource in heaven. Then who is the right person who can use all that belongs to heaven? The one who has faith can use all the resources of heaven. We are all the same Christian. You are saved by the blood of Christ. I am also saved by the blood of the Christ. Then does God really listen to your prayer when you seek after God? Do you have any testimony how God bestows all your needs and provided you? If you don't have such testimony, means that you are not living by faith. If you are still struggling in your life, you are living for your flesh, for the life of the earth, not by the faith. My God in my salvation. Whenever I pray, God answers and provides all my needs. I've never went through the difficulties or challenge in my life. God always answered all my needs. Yes, sometimes, although I have to pray for the needs, but whether I pray or not, God knows all my needs and He provides all everything according to the needs. I also received salvation by the blood of Jesus. And my God who lives in the world, uh, who lives in the heaven, can open the door of heaven and provide everything. But if your God is not doing so for you, which means there is something wrong. You are not using the faith. You do not know how to use that faith. Today, I want to scold you. And I want to tell you strongly stop living following the flesh. Don't focus on the life of the earth. If you stop living the life of the flesh and move your life to live according to the faith, 
Uma ke utawuma kuphila impilo yasenyameni ulandzeleke impilo yekukhona God will definitely work in your life Ngulungulu ke utawusebenta empilweni yakho Every one of the member will be standing in front of the church to share testimony This is how God helped me This is how God answered my prayer This is how my work the faith really worked in my life Wonke kumuntu utawukhona kumembi kwelibandla afakaze ukuthi naye indlela nkulunkulu lasebente ngayo nawe kwe indlela nkulunkulu lakunikete ngakukholwa You have to wake up from the deep sleep of spiritual life Ufaneleke nivukeke kulokulala empilweni yakamoya I feel that you are sleeping in spiritual life Ngiyacabanga lokuthi nilele empilweni yakamoya Every Sunday we give you time to testify Eh ngaso sonke isikhathi siyanikete lithuba lekufakazi But actually not many one who are willing to testify it is because God is not working in your life If God works in your life If God really, really answered to your prayer and provide all your needs, if God works powerfully in your life, you will be busy. You, you can just sit down uh, during the testimony time. You will be willing to testify how God is helping you, how God provided all your needs. Then what is wrong in our spiritual life? Why we are not able to receive all the provision from God? Why God does not open the unlimited resource which He has in heaven? To, prov prov to provide in our daily life. Why do we have to worry for our future? Why do we have to struggle in the financial ch challenge? Let's read this Luke chapter 16 and read verse by verse to find out what is the secret. Here there is a rich man who has a steward. This rich man has a limited resource. He is not just a rich man like ordinary rich men. If you read the story and understood this, you, you could find out this rich man has some unique mindset. Why? Because his steward, when his steward discounted his possession, his debt, this rich man commanded his steward. Then this rich man is not just the ordinary rich man. Usually rich men, they work very hard or they own business, they, in, they are interested in increasing their position. But this rich man is not just an ordinary man who possess a lot of things. This rich man represents our God in heaven. And he had a steward. He has given all that ownership to control his possession. Here is my position, here is my business, here a debtor. You control all my belongings. There was a certain steward represents each and every one of us. We all are the God's steward. So God gives you time. God gives you health. God gives you family. God gives you money. God gives you all types of possession. So anything, all the things which we receive from God is God's, is actually not ours. 
Eh, konga kwenye siku tole kumkulungu luga shaka te aksiro kwe tuko tuwa kumkulungu. So this steward did not serve master well. Kwa kwenye siku sebende asizanga siku sebende kwa atekulu mpatwa. So this master heard the attribution of the wrong behavior of this steward. Bible does not explain how did he made a wrong or how how did he behaved. But it seems that God Master was not interested in the way how steward managed the fund. So, Master called the steward. What is this I hear about you? Give an account of your stewardship. All the money, all the time, all the heart, all the things that I have given you, give me an account. Give me an account means how do you spend money? How did you deal with my debtor? Where did you spend your time? What did you do with all that possession? Write it down and bring it to me. I will count your account and you no longer be a steward I will take the position of your steward you are no longer eligible to become my steward because you work on just way so this is how master called this steward and now wanted to count the works of this steward how did you spend money where did you spend your time when you were given health when you were given body where did you spend your body so when this steward thought about his life, he was very ashamed. Oh, I did not really satisfy or work for the will and objective of the master. So what if I lose my stewardship? How can I survive? If my master take away the position, how can I survive? Now this steward started to think deeply. Oh, what can I do now? Can I dig? Can I dig the ground? Ah, I am old. I don't have energy to dig the ground. Then should I go and beg? Ah, I feel so ashamed of begging. How can I live my future, my life? When he thought, he actually did not have anything that he could do by himself. But while he was thinking, he got an idea. Okay, let me do this. Then after my master took out my stewardship, they will welcome me in their houses. So he called the debtors. How much do you owe to my master? Oh, I owe 100 oil. 100 majors of oil. Okay, sit down and quickly write 50. Oh, steward, can you really do that? I didn't pay back of the 50 major of oil. Quickly, 
ไอ้เย็นดังเจ้าบังกุเชนโอเคเทนคิวเทนคิวเทนคิวโอเคเนี่ยบ่งเนี่ยบ่งโซวอทสตูเวิร์ดดูอิงมิสเตอร์เฮ
This master was interested to gain the other people's heart and leave showing mercy and showing love towards others. So when this master saw this unjust steward working shrewdly, he was so happy. Now my steward is working right. Why Jesus gave such parable? Through this parable, Jesus wanted to teach us. Each and every one of you, you are all the stewards of God. And God gives you money. God gives you job. God gives you income. God gives you health. God gives you time. God gives you family. And God gives you children. God gives you clothes. God gives you everything. And you are the steward. Some stewards have much. Some stewards have less. Then who work royally with this less? God will give you the true riches. But some stewards who work for their own flesh, for their own life of the earth. God will take it all back if you are not working rightly. Count your time. Where do you spend your time? Every day I give you 24 hours. And with your 24 hours time, where do you spend? How much do you spend for preaching the gospel? How much do you really work for the works of the God? How much do you spend for the people of the world to show love, to share the love of Christ? And I give you monthly salary. And I give you some of the income. Whether that is read much or less. And how and where do you use this your income? Do you use it only for yourself? Do you use it only for your flesh? Or you use the resources for the works of God? To help other people. And to, to bestow other poor. And give back to God to acknowledge the help and all the provision of God. So God will ask us to give us, give him an account. Give me an account. How, where do you spend? How do you spend all your belongings? Jesus said, Verse 9. Oh, verse 9. And I say to you, make friends for yourselves by unrighteous mammon, that when you fail, they may receive you into an everlasting home. I say to you, make friends by unrighteous mammon. What is unrighteous mammon and who is my friend? The unrighteous mammon is all the things of this world that we received like a steward. 
Earthly things, house, money, time, my health, my body, my future, my family, all these things are unrighteous memory. Because all the things of the earth will perish. Is there any everlasting things on the earth? If you build a good house, can you take that house to heaven? Our focus is on the earth. Because we are only living in the earth now. But God's focus is in heaven. Our eternal life. If you come to heaven, where will you live? What will you wear? Whether will you become a leader as a, a ruler or will you become a servant even in the heaven? So God is giving us unrighteous memory to see whether you are using all this unrighteous memory for the purpose of God. According to the pleasure of God. Or you use all this unrighteous memory for yourself, for your flesh, for your desire. So with this unrighteous memory, things of this world which will perish make your friends. Who, who is your friend? Your neighbor? Some people around you? These friends, if you read the whole verse, you can understand who is your friend. If you make this friend by unrighteous mammon, when you fail, they may receive you into an everlasting home. Then who is the friend who can welcome you in everlasting home? Doesn't mean your neighbor? Who is the friend who can welcome you in the kingdom of heaven? Where you can live eternal life. Who is that? God. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. We sing this song. Who is your true friend? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Make your friend with unrighteous memory means with all the things that you were given on the earth satisfy Jesus. Come close to Jesus. Spend everything for Jesus. Then Jesus will welcome you in everlasting life, preparing a lot of true riches. Verse 10. Verse 10 he who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. And he who is unjust is what is least is unjust also in much. When God sees all your possession, whether you have million, ten million, one billion, or one thousand, one hundred, those are the least, least things on the earth. 
Mtabe nuonge lo na uwe mshambe kungaba tikiti noma tingulu ngwane Gungane kakulu logo kuchesu So if you use these least things faithfully If you work faithfully with these least things of the earth Uma unga tisebendi sakele timbo le tingane Tisebendi sange kwe tsembega God will give you much so that you will be faithful to God. So God will be happy your stewardship. Although God gives you little or much on the earth, if you are not faithful, which means if you cannot satisfy the way how God is happy, uh, this one is unrighteous. This one is working on just way. Let me take away all your stewardship. You don't deserve to live as my steward. I gave you 24 hours every day in your life. I gave you this amount of salary or this amount of income every month of your life. I gave you health every day in your life. But where did you use your health? Where did you spend your time? How did you spend your money? Let me count. If God called you for a count, many of us will feel shame and will be kicked away from this stewardship. So God will definitely count on our stewardship. So if you are faithful with the least, uh, then this person is working faithfully on my position, so I will give you more. I will give you the true rich. Verse 11. Therefore, if you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to you trust the true riches? When God bestows all the things of this world on righteous mammon, if you didn't use for the just, if you didn't use all these things of the world, for the Lord, for gospel, how can, how can God trust you the true riches? What is this true riches? True riches is the position in heaven. Bible says if you go to heaven, some of the faithful servants will be given a village to be a ruler and leader of that village. Even in heaven, some of you will be given authority and power to become a ruler over others. Although you may go to heaven, if you did not use faithful life, pleasing God, working for the gospel, you will remain in shame and being controlled by the leader and ruler of the heaven. Those, those, uh, those faithful stewards will be given the crown, golden crown in heaven. And the riches of heaven. But those who only served your flesh on the earth with all the unrighteous memory which God gave you, you won't be able to get any crown, any 
good clothes, any position that you can rule over. Verse 12. Verse 12. And if you have not been faithful in what is another man's, who will give you what is your own? Although you may think the position what you hold is yours, but it's not yours. If you die, can you take all this position? The Bible says, if you are not faithful to the another man, means what you possess, what you have, unrighteous memory is not yours. Verse 13. 13. No servant can serve two masters. We are the servants. We cannot serve two masters. If you serve your mammon, you cannot serve God. If you cannot, if you serve God, you cannot serve them. So while we are living in this world, we feel spare to give God. Satan will come to visit us every time, every one of us, whether it is big amount, small amount, whether it is thousand, hundred, ten. Satan will give us the heart to spare to give to the Lord. Although God says, if you first give to the Lord, God will provide and bestow all your needs. If you don't give tithe, all the 10% of your incomes, then means you are sparing to give to the Lord. If you don't acknowledge that God, all this belongs from God. God, really, I appreciate all your support, all your provision. If you are not giving tithe, then means you are sparing to give to the Lord. Acknowledge God's provision. Then how can we expect God to bestow more upon our life? If you only spend your time only for yourself, for your future, for your flesh, I have to go to work to earn money. I have to do this and that for my for my sake. I have to study for my sake. Whether you are study, whether you go to work and do anything, if you are doing it for the gospel, then God will definitely bestow more, much more, and even the true riches in heaven. But while you are using all your 24 hours life, ah, oh, I am tired, let me sleep. Oh, I have to go to work to earn more money. Okay, let me go. Oh, I am a student, I have to study for my future. So you spend 24 hours for yourself, then how can you expect God to give you more, gives you more than you need? You have to just struggle with your own available resource. That's why many of you are facing challenge, running out of time, running out of money, getting through a lot of difficulties and hardship. 
Ingako ke ingumbi yetu sitanga bete anale tingu namba Siba ke skati sikuze sibete ima Why we cannot live rich life? Lene singa pilimbi lo lenji ngi Regarding this all the incomes you earn no magungu na leyo nje mali lo yuhola Whether you earn thousand, two thousand, or hundred, or two hundred No magungu na leyo nje mali lo yuhola A thousand, no ma two hundred, no ma hundred There are the people who bestows others with their little they gain with the little they receive, there are the people who first give to the Lord. Oh God, I really thank God who gives me all this blessing upon my life. But there are the people who always complain. Ish, I don't have. Ish, I don't have. Ish, I don't have. To give to the Lord. If God increases my salary, if God increases my income, I will now then give you the offering. God, if I finish my study, then from that time I will start using my time for the gospel. Oh God, today I am tired, I am sick, so if you give me help, if you recover me, then I will go to preach the gospel. Then God would say what? You are unjust to the, to the, the memory of the earth, unjust, unrighteous memory of the earth. How can I trust you much things? You spare your time to give me. You spare your money to give me. Actually, all these things is from me sharing you to use as a steward. But you are sparing to return your money back to me. You are sparing your time to return for the works of the gospel. What do you expect? What can you expect to receive from God? That's the teachings of Jesus today. With by unrighteous mammon, make friends. Whether you have little or much. Whether you have enough or lacking. If we use all these things for the sake of the gospel to please God. God will be happy. Oh, you are my faithful steward. What do you really need? Oh, do you need money? Do you need this fund? Oh, you need help. Oh, you need people. Oh, you need a house. Oh, you need a job. Oh, you need the clothes. You need the shoes. Because whatever I give you, you use for the sake of the gospel. So let me give you more. You can take more charges of my possession. Then you have no choice but to become rich. Amen. Amen. If you make friends, means if you satisfy Jesus and do what He wants to do. Because Jesus does not have his physical body to work on the earth. He is looking for his right steward. Who can be my steward? Okay, let me give you something. And let me see how you use this unrighteous man. Ah, this one, he is only using for himself. Uh, this one is only using for his family. Hey, this is unrighteous steward. Unjust steward. Stop, you are no longer will be my steward. But if God see, 
Anyone who is trying to live by faith. Who wants to apply the teachings of God's prayer? Who wants to satisfy me? Who knows my will? Oh, although I give little, He always tries to share with others. Oh, although I give some shabby, He always tries to look after other people. Oh. This one is my royal servant. What do you need? What more do you need? God will always look for that right steward to bestow more and more upon that person's life. Satan also visited me several times. Even today, he whispered me. Hey, you are a pastor. You are gaining meter from this church. Then how can you take care of all other people around you? The little that you have is not even enough for you and for your children, for your family, and the people around in this church. Satan always whispered my mind. When I was in Korea, as a minister, I was in uh, the Korea main headquarter church where our Reverend Park is ministering. At that time, Reverend Oxford Park he announced uh, starting from this May, we are going to have a grand Bible seminar for the sole citizen. So let us give offering with willing heart. And may you promise each amount that you are willing to give. So until this day, let us pray and get all that offering, prepare that offering, give for the uh, Bible seminar that we want to we want to preach and save many souls. And we want to buy cars for the Africa churches. There are some missionaries who don't have a car and going on food everywhere to preach the gospel. Let's buy Africa to stand them. And so when I heard that announcement, one of my bad friends, Satan, came to me and persuaded me. Hey, you are a pastor. And you will be going back to Africa as a missionary. Why do you have to give offering for the soul citizen? This soul citizen will be offered by this soul church brothers and sisters. And you also don't have much, you don't have income. By the time I did not receive any allowance or any income, I didn't have any income. So if you give, how much should you give? Hey, this is not the proper offering that you are supposed to partake. And Africa, you are from Africa, you are the African missionary, you are supposed to receive a car from the Korean church. Why do you have to give offering for brothers and sisters from Korea buying a car for Africa? When I come to Africa, foot we are eating at the moto, singing and goods unigel, Imali, goods, but singing in moto, a buffoon is never say Africa. So I am an African missionary. Do I have to give offering for African missionaries? Come, Minerum Shumale, Africa, who find the length of the Nigel, Unigel, or Tangai Moto, 
Et il va fondre ce passer afri. I thought oh, I am not the right person who is supposed to give over. Ngabona ukuthi ay angisumloka lo lungele ukuthi anganikela lo mnikele. But one day God asked me. Engalenyela kaNkulunkulu waso yangibuda. Hey Pastor David. Ethu mfunde si David. Do you believe in me? Uyakholelwa yimbili. Yes, of course I do believe in you, Lord. Yeah, bonke yakholelwa kuwe. So you exclude yourself to partake this offering? Yes, because I am from Africa and not a part of this Korea, uh, Korean church. Why do you exclude you to partake in this offering? If you truly believe in me that I am a provider, I can provide all your needs. Why do you have to exclude yourself? Although you testify, God help me so far faithfully. Today, if you are sparing for yourself, then is that you, you really truly believing in me? I discovered myself. Uh, I was deceived by Satan not to believe and use wings that God gave me, which is faith. Oh God, I am very ashamed. I was despairing to give to you, Lord. Which means I do not believe in your power and your provision. So I checked my bank account. I had about 10,000. The 10,000 is all my available funds. I don't have any incomes. I don't have anyone who can help me. And I have to decide. What should I do? Should I give this 10,000 for my future uses? For me to travel, I need transport fare. For me to care my family and my child, I have to keep this money. Because I don't have any income. And at the same time, I don't have any allowance. But God gave me the heart. If you give and believe in God first, you will definitely see how God provides all your needs. So I determined to give all I had. So I transferred all my available funds to the church bank account and made my bank account empty. Okay, God, now I have only little penny in my account. And I want to see how God provides me. From that time, I don't know who gave me and how much they gave me. But since I empty all my account, I've never fasted, I've never went to witness on food. God always provided all my needs faithfully. After six months later, I checked my account. Oh, how much did God gave me? This six months. I gave him hundred, uh, uh, ten thousand. But within that six months time in the period, when I calculated all that income, God gave me more than sixty thousand. Or who gave me all the 60,000? I, I don't I still don't know and remember who gave me and offered all that. But one thing I, I am very sure when I give first God. God always give me and provide me more than I need. 
So God is faithful God. He always check the just steward who is working and satisfying his works and his mandate, his goal. Sometimes I feel sick. But at the same time, there are some things that I have to have, I have to do, or I have to preach the words. Then it's not because God gave me a heart, I can go to preach the gospel. If I first attend and give time, my time, and give my body for the sake of gospel first, God always give me strength and give me uh, the help, the help to recover so that I can continue doing the work of God. That's how I am standing before you even today. It's not because I am always healthy, I am you know, always good in, uh, I mean, uh, always good in good condition. When I first commit myself for the works of the gospel, I can clearly see how God bestows all things upon my life. I want to urge all the church members to live by the gospel and to live for the gospel. Then God will definitely answer everything, every need in your life. You will see how God opened the heaven's door and bestowed every your needs in your life. If you focus on your life on the earth, you have to be stressed. You have to be busy working for yourself. You have to struggle within the limited resource. But if you really want to be taken care of by God, you have to entrust, you have to trust yourself into the power and hands of God. We, our life is a broken system. Your life, each and every one of our finance is a broken system. Every month you pour to save. Every month you go to work, you earn, you get income and you pour in this broken system. But when you need something, you come and see the broken system, you did not save anything, all things are wasted. Why? Because our system is a broken system. Then, how can you make your broken system full? Is there anyone who knows how to make your broken system be filled with water? How can you make your broken system full? Sorry? Fulfill God's focus. God's purpose. If you want to feel all this broken system, you can throw this your broken system into the sea or water. If you try to fix your broken system one day, one year, ten years, twenty years, even hundred years, you will get always this system broken. 
Na uta uzama kui lungi salimbita yako le, le, le pugile. Umnyanga tingulungwane. Uya wikanza solo ye pugile. But if you throw this broken system in the water. If you throw your life, broken life, in God, God has unlimited resource. Amen. Amen. God will fill you with all the resources of God. Every day I am experiencing how God provides abundance. So whenever I share, whenever I give first for the Lord, I always experience how God fulfills all my needs. Not only my needs, even for all the other peoples, even for all the church works. Amen. 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 I hope you will all repent from this unjust steward to be the just steward. To be faithful to the Lord. And be faithful in the unrighteous mammon. If we use our unrighteous mammon to please God, to please Jesus. God will definitely give us more. God will for sure trust us the true riches. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to possess true riches? Or you want to struggle with this broken system? It depends on how you live, whether you live by faith or you live by your effort. I really hope all of our church members would live by faith. Use this unlimited resource from heaven. Let us pray.